Hey, Donnie Walker. Wednesday. I don't know what date it is. It doesn't matter. I got this great 066 here. Uh, a friend of mine, Brendan Graves. It says, Dad saw. I'm going to do it up for him. It's the original 066. Wow, it's cherry shape, man. Check it out. There's the cover. All the bolts are still good. This thing was a bit dirty. I just power washed it. But wow, you can tell this thing doesn't have a lot of use. It's probably the last kind of year 066s might have been produced. It's got the a little bit newer stuff. No, still the old style clutch. Thought it maybe it was their newer version, but nope. But yeah, you can see you know, the chains hardly really come off a couple times maybe. Uh, the piston looks perfect from the exhaust side. I've just uh, loosened the bolts to unbolt it. Let's have a quick look what it looks like inside here. Let's lift the jug off. One sec. These are great saws. Um, Brendan uh, also gave me that John Thread Old 50. That uh, is the ADCC one. His dad, had, grandpa had brand new, I think. They used it for milling. Okay. Check her out. There's the piston. Intake sides. Perfect. Look at that. Someone's actually domed this piston. Weird. Someone's modified this a bit. So it's got a slightly domed piston. Huh. Interesting. I thought it was all stock. Saw side. Good condition. Why does this piston look a little weird? Someone has notched the exhaust side on the skirt, which is unusual. This is interesting. Someone's been in here. Let's look at the cylinder. The cylinder is completely stock. No, no porting at all to it. Now, now I'm wondering why someone did this. Huh. Very odd. Were they thinking that that the exhaust side, they took uh, some off the piston to give it more intake timing? If they did, they did the wrong side. Interesting. I don't know why someone has changed the piston in this. Huh. Very cool. I better measure it up, make sure I'm not doing anything wrong when I'm doing it. These, I never used to do a, a whole ton of work. I would just open those transfers up in the bottoms. I would port the exhaust to a little bit different height, uh, clean it up. But these, these were well, well done cylinders. Just stood up very well. This is one of the best saws ever, ever used on the West Coast here. Didn't nickel and dime you. Guys could run these for two years and then get a new one, you know, and that's like, you know, over 200 days each year on the saw. But this is interesting what someone's already done to this. I'll have to uh, maybe phone Brendan and just ask him. But no big deal. I'm going to measure the squish and the timing on it and see if someone has done anything else to it. You can definitely see, I can see machining on that piston. I don't know why they would have done that. Anyways, Donnie Walker's uh, doing this 066 right now here for Lua Contracting from Parksville, BC. He's from my neighborhood area here. Um, it's been uh, brought me some wood down in our shop there so I can use for test logs. So clean it up real nice and I'll go through everything on it for him. Just finished a 562 for a um, fella in Jackson. Jackson. Who was it? Oh, Jackson, Wyoming. Andy Cortesio. I'll uh, get this back to the other shop and it'll be boxed up and being sent to you. Beautiful day up here again. I'm going to get this 066 done today. Then on to um, a 650 and a few more. Anyways, just thought, just thought I'd show you that 066. I really love those saws. They're, I would say... I'm a big Husky guy too, but I like stills and I like every, anything that runs good and lasts. Um, the 066 is probably the all-round best saw ever here. You know, people can comment, but that's my opinion. As far as running a saw cheap, with good power and big wood, this was all-around the best. Their only problem was, was anti-vibration. A lot of my guys with bad hands in the logging industry couldn't run these. They had to run the um, Huskies. And another thing is, 
is their handlebars. I have some friends that are left-handed. They can't run handlebars that are straight like this or with this side piece like this. It has to be a full wrap. Still didn't have a full wrap version for these saws that went right down a lot around the side, but I haven't seen any for a while. Anyways, Donnie Walker here. Keep your saw on it's sticking ass rubbing the road. Is this light on blaring at you? No, it wasn't. Check out the walkersawshop.com online store. Have a great day. Bye.